Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. This is going to be a brief one. Um, Connor Ben knocks out Chris Van Heerden in four minutes. Um, it was a minute into the second round that he got the knockout. Referee discontinued the count and waved it off when it looked, back, looked like Van Heerden wasn't getting up. So, yeah, explosive stuff from Ben against uh, an opponent that I never... No, I, I never got excited about this fight because I kind of expected... I expect it to last maybe five or six rounds. Ben got it down the second, but was I surprised? Not, not at all, really. No. Um, it was designed this matchup to make Ben look spectacular, and he did. He's got that explosiveness of his father, that real you know, huge bursts of aggression, multiple punch, com um, you know, combinations. Um, Head hunted a little bit in the first round. First round, Van Heerden did have a little bit of success. He did land some punches. Van Heerden looked the bigger man as well. Ben is a small welterweight. Even now, I, I do wonder whether he could make light welterweight, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he looks he looked a bit small. Van Heerden looked in shape. Um, had had one foot in retirement, or maybe one foot and nine toes in retirement. Um, came out for the big paycheck. Ben got the job done. First round, very, very aggressive from Ben. Van Heerden was replying, um, firing his own headshots. A few of them landed. At no point was Ben shaken. But then, to be honest, Van Heerden in the first round, he wasn't really that that shaken. He did have that very sort of concentrated um, frown on his face throughout the whole fight, Van Heerden. Uh, I did get the impression perhaps he was forced to be so aggressive in the first round by this sort of tsunami that was coming at him. But in the second um, second round, Ben stalking, stalking, stalking all the time. Van Heerden found himself on the ropes, was was hit with a right hand that shook him. And there was an uppercut in there as well, right uppercut, if my memory serves. Um, and then another right hand put Van Heerden over in the corner. And like I say, the referee dispensed with the count. So what does this mean? I mean... We've got, you know, Spence fighting you guys tonight. Now, if this, if Ben says, well, I'll have the winner, well, that's kind of ridiculous because Chris Van Heerden bears no resemblance to Errol Spence or you guys. So is he going to step up the quality of the opposition? Um, and he's been brought along fine. You know, he had a limited, very limited amateur career. He's done on the big stage like they're trying to do with Campbell Hatton. And he's done well. He's very, very much an improved fighter. A lot of fun to watch Conor Ben. I followed his dad's career from start to finish. And yeah, I see his father in him. I really do. Um, and he's picking up the knockouts as well. Even though you know, they're light punching opponents. And I mean, Van Heerden came in with a 28 wins and two defeats. One by stoppage, which was the Errol Spence uh, record. He only had 12 KOs in his 20, 28 wins. And we all know Chris Algieri, who was Ben's previous opponent, couldn't punch very much. I don't know. I, I'd like to see Ben in with a challenge with someone where you look at the matchup and you think, hmm, yeah, that's a 50-50 or maybe a 55-45. Um, you can only beat what's in front of you, but I want to see Ben in with someone who really tests him, who takes him rounds. Not in the, you know... Granados way that Adrian Granados didn't didn't even attempt to win that fight. He just messed Ben around for ten rounds. Um, you know, I think Ben's improving, but I want to see him in with someone. I really do. I'm trying to think who. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Who would you put him in with now? I have to have a think about that one. Did you see this fight? <laughs> Or did you blink and miss it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was all right. I like Ben. I like watching him. It's good fun, but put him in with someone decent. Come on, man. You know, it's enough. In, enough is enough. No more Chris Algieri's. Who are, what's Algieri? Nearly 40. Van Heerden's 34. Come on, let's have someone who isn't on the downside of their career. Let's have someone who... Let's have an Avanissian. Avanissian and Ben? Is that is that too much to ask for? I don't think so. Um... That's, that's the type of opponent I want to see, a top tenner who's a legitimate threat. Until then, I'm not going to be entirely convinced, although I, I wish Ben well, and I, I think I enjoy watching him. I think it's great fun. But, no. 
at world level. And that's what Eddie Hearn's been saying. He's not been calling him a prospect. No, no, he's world level. He's top five, top five welterweight. Okay, well, you prove it. You prove it now. Put him in with someone who can bang back, who can take him rounds, who can take a wallop, who can mess him around. Yeah. He needs his Michael Watson. You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Right, so leave your comments below. Let me know what you think, etc., etc. You know the drill. Hit the subscribe button. Go on, give it a nudge. Hit the like button. Share the video. We'll speak again soon. Bye for now.